navigate to and launch test prep by clicking on the tool from its location in the course. Test prep will open in a new tab within your browser. As an instructor, you have two options. You may either review and track your students' use of and performance in the tool, or you may use test prep in student mode. To explore test prep as a student, click the View as Student button on the launch page. Refer to the student tutorial video for test prep in the library for further guidance. When you are ready to review your student's practice test or exam results, click the Review My Student's Performance button. The next page will display filter options across the top, followed by your students' names and performance in a table below. Please note, students who have not yet completed practice tests in the tool will not populate in the reports. Begin by clicking the Edit Filters option above the report section. Then, use the dials under the filter criteria as needed to determine which results to include in the report below. If you wish to review individual students' results, select the By Student dial. Then, determine which practice test results to include in the report, followed by the period of time to examine. When satisfied with your filter selections, click the Show Report button. The table displays four columns including each student's last and first name, the number of practice tests they have completed, and their average score across all practice tests. Click a student's name to review their detailed results. Their user report page displays a practice test review bar graph revealing the scores achieved on their previous four practice tests. Use your mouse pointer to hover over each test instance on the left to populate the questions attempted pie chart on the right, which will display the number of questions answered correctly, incorrectly, ones that were skipped, or ones that were not seen for that testing instance. Regardless of the testing modes you selected in the report's filter options previously, you may use the respective buttons to the right of the page to toggle between practice tests or assessment tests results. When viewing student practice tests, the table below the charts displays columns for the timestamp of each practice test taken, the practice test mode chosen, the chapter or subject the questions were from, the student's scores, their time spent on the test, and finally their average time spent answering each question. Click on any individual timestamp under the test column for an itemized review of their results. A second table lists each individual question attempted, whether it was answered correctly, its subject or chapter, the percent of the class who have answered the same question correctly, the student's confidence rating if applicable, and the time they spent answering the question. Click on any individual question under the item column to review the question as it was answered by the student. Then click Back to Reports to return to the results page. A third and last Proficiency by Subject table at the bottom of the user report page reveals the student's performance by subject or chapter for the given practice test. When reviewing the student's results for the comprehensive assessment tests, the first table below the charts will reveal the timestamp of their completed tests, their final score, time spent on the test, and their average time spent answering each question. Click on any individual timestamp under the test column for an itemized review of their results. A second table lists each individual question attempted, whether it was answered correctly, its subject or chapter, time the students spent answering the question, and the average score of all students in the class who have answered the same question. Click on any individual question under the item column to review the question as it was answered by the student. If the item is not clickable, that indicates that the student never viewed the question before submitting the test. 
Click the Back to Reports button to return to the results page when finished. Toward the bottom of the User Reports page, a third table will reveal the student's proficiency by subject based on this individual exam's results. The information displayed in the table includes the subject or chapter, the number of questions answered correctly and incorrectly, the percent of questions answered correctly, and finally, the average proficiency of the class in the subject or chapter. To return to the test prep homepage, scroll up as needed and click the back button in the top left of the page. To review your overall class's performance by subject or chapter, click the Edit Filters option and select the subject dial. Then, choose your preferences for the remaining filters and click Show Report. The first column in the table below displays the subject or chapter, followed by the total number of questions answered correctly and incorrectly to date. The class's average score for the subject is shown under the last column. Click on any listed chapter to expand it and see a breakdown of the number of students whose scores are above, at, and below average for the class. You may select the View option to the right of each of these brackets to view which individual students fall into the respective average juxtaposed with their average scores in the subject. Thank you for watching this instructor tutorial on test prep.